What's up YouTube, Winterguard here. Today we're going to go do my first map runs. Uh, I haven't done any before. I understand there's a great place to find loot, so we're going to try it out. Of course I'm going to start with the Tier 1 maps. Uh, it was suggested to me by Glock Rivers that I try the Bastion Keep maps first. Because uh, being that I'm a Lightning Sork right now, I, uh, he said that might be the best place to start. We'll see how it goes. I have nine Bastion Keep maps all plain. I'm not going to run any of the ones with modifiers yet. I'm going to save them for a, for a later date. So let's take a look at the Sork. Uh, see where I'm starting at gear-wise. You guys get an idea of what, what I'm working with here. Uh, I'd say it's a mid-tier as far as gear at this point. I have some decent stuff. Uh, all self-found. Uh, let's take a look here real quick. So... Um, I have an oculus it's not slammed yet um, it's being that it's the only one I have I'm kind of afraid to do that at this point it's decent resists uh, and it is a plus three so I'm kind of letting it sit right now until maybe a duplicate or something better um, we'll see how that goes uh, got a peasant crown with uh, magic find in it right now uh, ghost armor spirit shroud for the skills Yes, I'm still running my Ancient's Pledge, but it's got good resist, so we're going to stick with it for now. Just got some junk gloves right now. I'm looking for maybe some Mage Fist or something. Surprisingly, they haven't dropped. Actually, not sure what to use with a Lightning Sork. I'm sure there's something better. If you guys got any ideas, uh, drop a comment and let me know. I do have uh, one Nagel for Magic Find. Not a good one. It's 25. I do have an Iraq that I found off Bale. So that decent belt there. Uh, one SOJ that I found while leveling. I have not uh, slammed that either. Uh, being that it's SOJ and only one I have, I'm just going to leave it for now. And some silk weaves that are slammed with magic fine. Uh, rest of the stuff mostly resist or magic fine. And one geeds. I will need to trade for uh, the Annihilus as well as a... Uh, torch at some point. I'm uh, not going to be killing any of that stuff with my Sork. As far as my Merc, he's decently set up. I still have an Andes. I uh, still haven't socketed it yet. Somebody suggested a Rao, which I might do. I uh, haven't decided. A Insight still. We'll need to upgrade that to an Infinity at some point. I did build a Fortitude which uh, adds some enhanced defense as far as resist. The Merc is pretty solid. He's, he can hold his own. Uh, I've got the Laying of Hands, a T-Gods for the Lightning, and a pair of Goblin Toes for a Crushing Blow. So that's my setup. If you look at my Magic Find, it is now at 293. Um, maybe a little too high. Uh, I'm, I'm trading a lot of survivability and speed for magic find so I might need to do some trading off at some point so that's where we're at I'm going to go ahead and start some runs uh, like I said I got nine maps unless I find another plain bastion keep map I'm just gonna do the run I'm gonna hold the modified maps uh, for later on just to see how it goes I have not done any maps before so this is gonna be a first uh, might crash and burn but suggested to do this with a lightning sword so maybe it won't be so bad so let's jump into it if you guys like what you see give me like share subscribe uh, notification bell all those YouTube things uh, and let's get into it okay we're in the first run here and um, it's not that far into it and we get a pair of vampire bone gloves drop uh, of course those are Dracul's uh, really nice set of gloves and get an ID on them here real quick do get uh, perfect life leech other stats are kind of mid-range but that's a pretty good start to the run okay still run one and uh, you'll see I hit this corpse and we get uh, unique wire fleece off of it it's why I hit everything uh, you just never know what you leave behind I've found a lot of items just running off of uh, boxes chests but as you see off the corpse we get this okay this is run number two and off of this champ pack you'll see we get a crusader bow which is um, eagle horn pretty nice drop I've 
all the years I've played, I have never found uh, a uh, wind force. Plenty of these, but never a wind force. But still, cool drop. Okay, and we're uh, already killed the map boss, and we're in his uh, area. And you'll see we get a unique tyrant club drop, which is uh, demon limb. Uh, it's kind of a cool drop. I don't get these very often. I don't think I've seen one this season but again real world real world problems with the spacing give this a quick ID again uh, it's perfect DD uh, neat little drop and I'll slam it later okay we're still in run two and just clearing out the rest of the trash and you see we get an Isra and drop off just a, a random mob so neat little way to finish off the run Okay, we're on run four. Um, this is basically coming right out of the uh, spawn area, and I get a gold rune off of one of the... Uh, I don't know if it dropped off the champ or just one of these little... Uh, little guys. Yeah, it might be one of those little guys. So we start off that run with a gold rune, so pretty cool. Okay, then we're on the map boss now, and as you can see, I don't engage. I actually just hide behind the wall and let my... Merc do all the work. You could just line of sight his orbs. But we actually get three uniques off of this. So pretty good uh, drop off of this guy. Get these Gurkis, which is uh, a, a nice shield. I think this is used for the damage reduction on the kind of the high end stuff. So that, that, I think that's a really great drop. And then we get another Spirit Shroud, which I need to get one with sockets in it so another good drop okay so that concludes the nine runs I'm gonna take a tally of what we got and go ahead and do some slams uh, hopefully we'll get something good out of this uh, was pretty successful had some decent drops had the one ish rune and actually two goals that dropped so technically uh, with two goals I think I have a vex another vex I'm not going to cube them up, but uh, I'd say that's that's pretty pretty decent. Just the nine runs, they didn't take me that long. They're a little longer than other things I've done, so probably 12 to 15 per run. Uh, and also, I, I stopped picking up gold, so that made it drag out a little longer. But let's um, let's do some slams and see what we get. Okay, let's knock off some of this small stuff first. I actually found two gold rats. Oh, and another thing. I only found one shard out of all those runs. So, I don't know if that's pretty normal or just the typical RNG. I definitely find a lot more shards doing uh, cows and any of the other ones, basically. Okay, let's start with the gold wraps. Oops. Chance to pierce. That's interesting. Replenish life. Let's do these Trang gloves. I've heard of people using these on mages as well. Or mages, sorceress. Sorry, World of Warcraft reference. For the faster cast rate, let's see what we get. Ah, they bricked. This glad bane. Nice little armor, high defense. One socket. Get gloves. I get these a lot. Uh, I might stop picking them up. Regenerate mana, so yeah, no. Alright, string of ears. Uh, actually, a good belt for damage reduction. Poison resists. Alright, so this one, this is that F Jalal's. It's 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 a plus one. I mean it's just kind of a fun find being there it's F, but I, it'll probably never be used. And it don't matter, it bricked anyways. And that's interesting that it doesn't stay F if it bricks. Well so 
We'll save those tracks for last. Alright, let's see. Okay, again with the ghost armor. Still trying to replace this one with maybe one with... Uh, sockets in it until I get something better uh, actually not sure what to use on a lightning sword kind of I guess I need to look that up another brick the last one I found bricked all right this demon limb it's actually perfect uh, ED and perfect life leech neat little weapon let's see if it gets anything good and it bricks Okay, this one, this Gurkies has got 27 all resist, so that's kind of nice. Uh, the damage reduction on that's also pretty high as well. I've seen people use these on Sorks for uh, the damage reduction, I guess, for the really high level stuff. So, kind of hoping to see some some sockets on this. I don't, I haven't found any of the uh, puzzle boxes yet so otherwise I, I might use that on this to guarantee the uh, sockets well you know what I could do a socket quest on these I'm gonna hold off on this I'll, I'll corrupt this at a later date and after I've uh, done a socket quest on it get the max sockets all right let's do this bow one socket on the bow and last but not least the Drax uh, these are really nice gloves uh, it's got perfect life leech on it as well um, the strength is mid and I guess life after kill is not that big a deal but the uh, life leech is really nice no brick And more replenish this well, replenish life, life after kill, life stolen. It might actually not be too bad. Maybe use it on a Merc? Zealer? Not sure. We'll definitely hold on to these. Alright, last item. Let's do this dwarf star. Uh it got men fire absorb, uh men life, well almost men life. Uh, almost men stamina, so these are not that great. It did max out on the uh, magic damage reduction did not brick and fizz damage reduced we'll hold on to that get kind of low on shards down to 17 okay that'll do it for this uh, these runs I, I'm not sure where to go from here I might do I got some other maps that are just plain tier ones I'll probably run them as well, and then maybe move up into the uh, the maps with the modifiers on them, and see how those see how those go. The, the, the these runs weren't that bad. I mean, I died a couple times, but just based off stupid uh, uh, teleports more than uh, survivability. So we will probably move into uh, something a little more difficult, maybe. Um, Give me some ideas on gloves that I can get for this Sork. Uh, I, I was aiming towards Mage Fist, but maybe that's not the best choice. So if you guys got any ideas, uh, maybe crafting. I, have, I know I've seen guys use uh, crafting gloves, I think, and they come with the FCR on them. Uh, that reminds me, where am I at FCR-wise? I think the breakpoint's 100 or 105. Yeah, see, I'm only at 73 right now, so uh, I think there might even be another break point before the 100, 105, 108, which way, whichever one that is. So uh, I definitely have some work to be done still on this, this sorceress. All right, that'll do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, everybody have a great day, and keep on farming.